Hello everyone, it's Dylan from Yu-Gi-Oh! Everything, and welcome back to another Yu-Gi-Oh! discussion video. So, as you can tell by the title, uh, some news, some news regarding the Yu-Gi-Oh! franchise, and that is that a movie is returning to the big screen, is returning to theaters in the United States uh, in March of this year, so in a couple of months, um, probably like five or six weeks. It's actually March 11th and March 12th. Those are the dates right now. So a big thank you to uh, Rave GRL WordPress, um, to the user who wrote this article. And uh, so basically, it, the movie that is returning... That's the, the good news is that there's a, a new Yu- – oh, not a new Yu-Gi-Oh, excuse me. A Yu-Gi-Oh movie returning to the big screen. Um, and then the bad news is that the movie is the original movie, The Pyramid of Light. Not the original movie. The original movie is the Season Zero movie, but the, um, the first movie that Yu-Gi-Oh did, which is Pyramid of Light. Um, and I'll read it, and then I'll give my thoughts on it and why I think it's – an interesting thing, and also I want to do this to bring attention to it to pe- for people who maybe don't have Twitter, because if I didn't have a Twitter, I wouldn't have heard about this. And so maybe there are some people that will see this and get interested, and if you missed the movie, now is, I guess, a chance to see it in theater format. But anyway, Yu-Gi-Oh! The Movie Pyramid of Light is returning to select U.S. theaters in March for a two-day special event. 4K Media and Fathom Events are bringing the 2004 English-dubbed film back to the big screen in a digitally remastered format on March 11th and March 12th. The list of participating theaters is still growing, but at the time of writing, theaters in 42 states and the District of Columbia are taking part in this limited engagement. Fathom Events has yet to open its Yu-Gi-Oh! The Movie webpage, but many participating theaters are already listed on Fandango and MovieTickets.com where you can buy advanced tickets. Stay tuned for more details about this release coming soon. I will link this down below in case you want to check this little article out for yourself. So, we have another Yu-Gi-Oh! movie. It wasn't too long ago when we had Dark Side of Dimensions come to the theaters. It was about this time last year. I actually think it was this time last year, um, or, you know, give or take, give or take, excuse me, a few days, which is really cool. And now we have news of the original Pyramid of Light being remastered and coming to the big screen. This is awesome, and I'm probably going to go see it if a theater is showing it not too far from me. And luckily, I live in the I live in New Jersey, and I feel like in New Jersey and New York, usually there's a few theaters. That was the case with Dark Side of Dimensions. Of course, I got to see it at the premiere and and sit in the theater with Takahashi, which is nuts. But um, but there were theaters in New Jersey because I was checking that were showing Dark Side of Dimensions. So I'm sure I'll probably get lucky, and there will be theaters around me. I just I wish it was. Maybe a different movie or a different... I feel like if they wanted to remaster the Yugi vs. Pegasus duel and show that in the big screens, I feel like that would do better than this, <laughs> honestly. I'm going to go see it because I'm, I want to support Yu-Gi-Oh! and I want to support the franchise any way I can, obviously. Um, and I think it would be a cool experience to see it in a movie theater, but I remember this is probably my least favorite piece of all Yu-Gi-Oh! media. I Now, I did see the dub... And I do plan to rewatch it. It was a long time ago when I was young, and I just the movie did not have my attention at all, and which is rare because I, I'm you guys know how easy I am to please and how much I love everything that's Yu-Gi-Oh. But this was a movie that I really just was not a fan of. Maybe it was because it was the dub. Maybe it was because I was kind of young. I think I saw it probably when I was like 14, 15 years old. So I do plan to rewatch it sub. I even have a thumbnail made for when I do do a review. I will be doing a review on this movie and a review on Dark on not Dark Side of Dimensions on Bonds Beyond Time whenever I get around to it, which is hopefully soon. So I while well, Bonds Beyond Time remastered would have been great. So while this is really cool news, it's kind of random, and you know Pyramid of Light has a four a five percent on Rotten Tomatoes. I believe until the Emoji Movie, it was the worst rated animated movie in history. And it held that title for 13 years because the Emoji Movie didn't even come out till last year. I believe it was the Emoji Movie. I know some movie took it over as, like, the worst rated animated movie ever. So, yeah, I just wish it was a different movie, but still interesting nonetheless. Interesting nonetheless. And I do want to hear your guys' take on this, whether you're going to see this movie in theaters or whether you're going to skip it. Maybe you guys really did enjoy the movie. Um, and, and if you did, that that's awesome. I didn't think it was terrible, but, like... I don't know. I just remember not being a huge fan of it, and I do really need to rewatch it, and I guess this is a good time to rewatch it. Maybe I'll rewatch it in theaters, and then I'll watch it subbed, or I'll watch it subbed, and then watch it in theaters, and then give a review, and kind of compare the two, or or something like that, but... um. But yeah, it, it's cool. It's cool that a Yu-Gi-Oh! movie is coming back to theaters, though. That, that's the awesome side of things, and I wonder if they're doing this to gauge an audience, because... 
We know I did a video yesterday covering the news on the dubs. We know the ARC-5 dub is coming to an end, and they kind of, especially in the United States with Nicktoons, they really did horrible with the Nicktoons dub, with the ARC-5 dub, excuse me, in terms of airing it, in terms of selling it to to viewers and consumers. And so I wonder if they're trying to gauge an audience and see if... Or maybe they're doing this because this also comes at a time where the Twitch streams were going on. And I thought the Twitch streams were interesting because I thought they were doing that to maybe show off to more networks. If Nicktoons, because there's a lot of rumors that Nicktoons might be going under and that they are struggling. Don't know if those rumors are true. There was a YouTube video someone made about it and they they brought up a lot of good points. If that's the case, maybe they're trying to get some data and they're going to try to use the results of this movie and use the results of how many people were involved in the Twitch stream to show it off to... A more, I don't want to say more competent because that's very insulting, a maybe a better, a more popular network at the moment than Nicktoons is that will do better for the Yu-Gi-Oh! Vrains dub and they're trying to sell their product and show that there still is an audience and there still is a consumership for their product. That's something that could be the case with this or maybe they're just trying to make a few quick bucks. I, I don't really know. I feel like whenever something random like this happens, there's always a meaning behind it from a business perspective and I always try to look at it from a business perspective. That could be the reason, but whether it is or isn't, I'm excited um, that a Yu-Gi-Oh! movie is coming back to theaters. Again, I wish it was something other than Pyramid of Light, but I still will probably see it. So anyway, guys, a shorter video this time since it is just a little breaking news and I wanted to spread this news to as many of you guys as I possibly could to try to get a good turnout. And if you are interested in seeing this movie and if you've maybe never seen it before, now is a good time to see it. Bring a friend, bring your girlfriend, bring your boyfriend to the big screen. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you in the comments down below. I hope you're enjoying your weekend. And as always, I hope you have an amazing day.